favourite interval? You, your favourite interval? Major seconds. Okay. Augmented sixth. Easy, easy. Well, we have had a lovely little interval of as big singers. We've had our oranges backstage, and we're raring to go for parts two. Uh, but first. We have a very special guest for you tonight, Jessica Robot. Yeah, yeah, right? You can get excited to get in a minute. Hold that just for a tiny bit longer. Um, Jessica Robottom, also known as the Bleeding Obvious, a uh, long time uh, friend of the Pink Singers. Uh, she is a one woman LGBT plus cabaret extravaganza. I think that's the only real way to describe her. Um, she's been a friend of the Pink Singers for an awfully long time. She's actually been photographing some of, her con some of our concerts. Uh, with her wife for, gosh, nearly a decade now, and we are thrilled that we're finally able to bring her here to perform for you because she is a legend in her own making and she has her own musical um, show, which we're going to show for you tonight. Uh, we don't have to take our word for it that she's brilliant. Um, there are plenty of others who think she's brilliant too. So uh, she's been described variously as uplifting and immersive, uh, she's also been described as an LGBT plus musical trinket box. Uh, so we'll see what's in it tonight. And uh, my favourite of all is she's been described as the queer Victoria Wood. So <laughs> sounds great to me. So it gives me a huge pleasure. Please give a hugely warm pinky welcome to the Bleeding Obvious. <laughs> Ladies and 
gentlemen, everybody in between, everybody who is neither. My name's Jessica Robot, and I'm the single sole member of the band called The Bleeding Obvious, in the same way that one drink makes a round, one aeroplane can make an airline. I've spent most of my life trying to work out where I am on the whole gender and sexuality spectrum. And um, I thought I'd amuse myself by writing songs about it, and that's pretty much what I do now. Um, as a result of trying to work this out, of course, you know, I had the coming out thing. I came out. I came out to my family, my friends and everything in this, which is a, a whole tale in itself. But one of the things that people say to, say, say to you, isn't it, is, it's all right by me. <laughs> I've just imparted this fairly major life decision. I'm glad I've got your permission. <laughs> but your permission is not required. Acknowledgement would be nice. Recognition is essential for me to live my life. Your agreement is not needed. Understanding would be good. Comprehension's not a given to recognise my womanhood. My biology's not your business, but still you scrutinise. Decide whether I'm pink or blue based on what's between my thighs. Your reasoning is flawed, cos it's not so black and white. My gender, my identity, they're my basic human rights. thick and fast, the second wave debate pulled from the past. Gender critical, political class, I find your misogynist arguments crass. So next time that you lie down in front of the parade, or post offensive stickers and shout offensive names, when I next need the bathroom, and let's face it, we all do, I'd like to not get attacked again, because I need to go to the loo. And let's face it, we all need to go to the loo. <laughs> And, uh, you know, all these people said things like, you know, aren't you meant to be wearing dungarees now, you're a lesbian? And things like that. And I uh, had to tell them you have to be operating lesbian level 8 for that. And <laughs> I wasn't quite sure where I was on this gender and sexuality spectrum even then. Um, and part of the whole coming out process for me was working out what I wasn't as much as what I was. And so uh, I ended up in all sorts of all sorts of seedy dives and everything. And uh, to cut a long story short, I ended up in a drag bar in Leeds. Have we got any Leeds people in there? <laughs> oh, lovely, good, marvellous. <laughs> Wakefield is desperately trying to be you. <laughs> and, and so I ended up in this drag bar in Leeds. after a particularly spectacularly horrifically failed date. <laughs> Drinking uh, a rather silly amount of rum and coke. And I realised that, okay, I'm a woman that likes other women, that means I'm a lesbian, right? And I'm... I've got this gender pendulum that swings both ways, so I'm probably genderqueer. So it's gender queer lesbian. And it suddenly felt that was where home was. She stands on the edge of the sea, watching the stage and the drag queens melt in the background of the bar. 
Time for someone else to be the star. No need to feel abandoned, dancing slowly to the disco beat. No need to get much closer. Keep your distance, bask in the heat. But I thought these, these four would go nicely. So after I came out and I found, eventually found my wife and everything else, um, I, uh, I started going to Pride. Now, Pride, nowadays, there's sort of like these lovely little community Prides, but then there's a big music festival Pride. Now, for me, Pride is a protest, very much so. And Pride will remain a protest until we are there, okay? But, you get a lot of spectators standing on the sidelines and everything else, and look at the gays. And, especially the music festival ones, which would be absolutely banging if it wasn't for all these pesky homosexuals getting in the way. Now, one of the first prides I went to, I heard one of these spectators who showed up, and they were quite obviously tourists on the sideline who'd run into this. And they said, um, oh, I don't know about that. You can tell the ones that aren't gay because they can't dance. <laughs> and to that I say, I can't dance, and I don't. Sequin dress and stilettos, hands people had the moves. I got scarred in years gone by, but I'm still singing the same tunes. I fancy this, she fancies that, don't give a second thought. Come and have a dance sometime, let's see what you got. Did my confidence disturb you? It's like sachet across the floor. I've been through battles and wars before, but I ain't keeping score. I'll stand up and be counted, balls to the wall. Cause no one needs to have your back when your back's against the wall. And you say that I can't dance, well I don't care You tell me I can't dance, well I don't care Ain't calling out for a hero, cause sweetheart's on my own Tell me I can't carry on, well baby I 
your covers blow. Oh yeah, cause you're an ally, cause you're curious about kissing. Well, I'm here to remind you just of what you could be missing. Cause seduced by glittering rainbows, well, the queers know where it's at. And I'm not cheating your fantasy, and you won't bell this cat. And I know it's complicated, and I'm a paradox. But hella baby, I might be broken, but I'm a tall fox. And you say that I can't dance? Well, I don't care. Tell me I can't dance. Well, I don't care. And I'm having fun, I ain't sorry. Whatever you might think. When you're turning for pride and you're pretending that you're pink. Your privilege is showing through the thin veneer. But I see people of your vintage around here every year. When you're standing on the sidelines, you're caught up in the cheers. Or did I hear that wrong? And was it actually a sneer? And I might not fit your ideals of what your clichés say, but screw your expectations. I'm proud this way. <laughs> and you say that I can't dance? Well, I don't care. You tell me I can't dance. Well, I don't care. Where in the one that we've been doing in the studio, it goes into this absolute banging disco breakdown, which is a bit hard to do on a piano. And it's also a bit hard to do when you haven't practiced it. But hey, we're all here, we're all friends here, all 900 of you. And. and homosexuality is still an illegal act and I know I'm not going to get locked up because I've shared a double bed with my wife. I'd quite like perhaps to go to one of the 16 different countries in the world where homosexuality is still punishable by death. When it comes down to it right, it would be really nice to go to my local seaside resort without some lad in a Vauxhall Corsa winding his window down and yelling, TRUFFY LASERS! Because lesbian recognition is the single GCSE he got at school. <laughs> so you say that I can't dance. 